So my friend Ryan over at the channel Seeking Stories just remixed his own tag. He originally created a book called the How to Adapt a Book Tag, and he has since recreated it to make it more generalized so it's not so movie specific. And when I watched this video, I was immediately struck with an idea. I was so inspired and so excited to talk about it that I just had to film tonight. I wasn't planning on it. I just got done with the Storm Along 2020 live stream, but I needed to get this out there before someone else came up with the exact same idea. I just so excited to do it, so let's go. First of all, I'm gonna be talking about Mistborn, mainly the first book in the Mistborn series, The Final Empire, and I'm also going to be giving like, you know, world buildy spoilers. I don't think they're really like major story spoilers, but if you're really sensitive to that stuff, I'd recommend not watching this video right now. You should check it out after you finish The Final Empire. I'm not gonna do any major story spoilers. And we are going to be doing the how to adapt a book redux tag starting now. Question one, which book do you think deserves this adaptation and of course my answer is Mistborn. We'll start with the Final Empire. Question number two, what medium do you think best supports this adaptation? And because it is so near and dear to my heart and because I think I know a lot more about this industry than other adaptation industries, we're going to be making a Mistborn video game here today. What am I most excited about in this hypothetical adaptation? Well the thing that I think is most interesting about Mistborn compared to some of the other books that I really enjoy reading is I think that this would actually just be an extremely fun game to play and it would be easy from a gameplay perspective to translate it directly into a video game whereas a lot of books even the Stormlight Archive like my favorite series I think it would be hard to translate that into a game just because it wouldn't necessarily work I think Mistborn has that ability and you don't actually have to change that much additionally the gameplay I think will translate into awesome world building and you'll get to explore the characters and the stories that so many people love about Mistborn and the Final Empire. Like, it's a series that a lot of people love. It would be awesome if other people get to experience it in a way that isn't super inferior. The thing that I don't love about movie adaptations or TV show adaptations is the amount of time and the pacing that has to be so drastically different from something in a book. Video games sometimes have very similar pacing to books. Not necessarily one-to-one -one because video games have a lot of action frequently and I think that this game should have a lot of action but you get to spend the same amount of time with your characters as opposed to something like a movie where a movie can be three hours long. A video game, like reading a book, can be 15 to 20 hours long. Additionally, a benefit in a video game is there are things in the book, like using allomancy, the sort of magic system we get to deal with in the Final Empire. A lot of these things have to be described extremely specifically over and over in the book, and also you have to be kind of presented in a written form the way that these might be powerful or useful tools. In a video game, you'll be able to experience that practically in a way that I think will just It'll just work. Now question number four, what actors should portray the characters in this? So this is not necessarily regular actors and I am not the type of person that is really good about making full cast of actors, but I definitely think that for Kelsier, because it's a video game, we have to have Nolan North voicing a character. Nolan North has voiced a bazillion characters. I also consider Troy Baker, like I feel like if you're making a video game, you have to at least jokingly throw Troy Baker or Nolan North, if not both of them into the game. I think Nolan North would do a better job at doing Kelsier than Troy Baker. I feel like Troy Baker, his voice is amazing and he does have range, but his range from what I've heard doesn't fit Kelsier as well as I can see Nolan North fitting with Kelsier. The other thing that I I'm extremely specific about. I'm super hardcore about this. Ashley Birch needs to play Vin. Ashley Birch has done amazing voices throughout video games and specifically her work with like Life is Strange and Horizon Zero Dawn, I think would be perfect for Vin, especially the stuff from Life is Strange. I think it would be a very easy transition to be able to play Vin as a character. Question number five, who should direct this adaptation? So because it's a video game, instead of doing a traditional director, I'm going to pick a video game studio to be making this video game? And to me, the answer there seems obvious. It's gotta be Insomniac. After the stuff that we've seen them do, especially with the most recent Spider-Man game, but even their past history of games, it's gotta be Insomniac. If you played their most recent Spider-Man game, you know what I'm talking about when the movement through the city in the Spider-Man game has to be something that you absolutely
absolutely nail when you're playing as the main characters. I think this video game should be a game that sort of switches between the perspective of Vin and Kelsier. I'll get to that more later, but the fluidity of the movement and the joy of moving through the world is going to be such an integral part of this game. And Insomniac shows that they can do that open world travel better than like any other developer I've ever really seen in recent years. Additionally, they can make the combat fun. And I think that we're going to have a lot of different options here because we're going to have to deal with all the different Alimantic powers for the Mistborns in this game. I think that could be potentially difficult to implement into a controller scheme. I'm trusting Insomniac with that work. Plus we know they do good motion capture and acting and they, they make a good solid game. I'm so excited for that Miles Morales game, by the way, if you couldn't have guessed that. Question six, which scene or scenes are you most excited about in this game? So I've kind of already hinted about it. Not necessarily going to be like a specific one-off scene, but because it's a video game, I think getting the translation of the joy of having Mistborn powers while flowing through the city and then doing basically Kelsier's missions throughout that story, it's just, it's, if you nail that part, the rest of the game can coast a little bit. If you gotta nail one thing, you gotta nail what it's like to be Mistborn at night, going through the mists, pulling off those missions. If you get the combat to feel good, it'll all click. What are you most nervous about with this potential adaptation? So two things. I I've mentioned that I do trust Insomniac to answer these, but getting a control scheme to work with all of the different metal burnings and being able to turn them on and off and measure your eight different metals is going to be difficult. It's not gonna be an easy process. And also getting the HUD to look good and feel natural while you're doing that stuff. I mean, you're flipping on different metals and the different abilities are going to be become apparent to you in a visual way while you also have to measure how much you have of each of those metals, it's going to be difficult. I don't think it's insurmountable, but it will be a huge problem. Additionally, switching back and forth between the two characters, because I want them to feel distinct, but you're going to basically be using Vin as the tutorial for things that you're going to be doing with Kelsier. That's kind of the main way that this is going to work. I'll continue diving into that in one of the future questions. But getting us to learn those abilities, connect with these characters while also switching between them, which I do think is the best option. I think it could be difficult ways to tell the story because I do want you to see action from both perspectives and I do think it's important that they feel different, especially because of things that happen in the series. Question eight, let's get real. Do I think that this adaptation has any real chance of happening? Okay, I know Brandon Sanderson is interested. He's talked about independent developers wanting to do a Mistborn game before. I think this has to be a big budget game. I think somebody like Insomniac has to do it to do it right. I think if Mistborn gets picked up for a movie or serious like Netflix adaptation. It could potentially be turned into a game adaptation at some point. I really think it's all about getting the hype big enough that the budget could be justified. I think this is feasible. I think it, it it's probably unlikely, but it is feasible that it could happen someday. Question nine, do I think it would be a good adaptation? Based on what I know about Brandon Sanderson, recently I did a video where I talked about Brandon Sanderson's favorite video games. I'm gonna link that up above. I I think Brandon Sanderson has very strong and like solid feelings towards video games. I think he is very familiar with what makes games good and not. And I don't think that he would sign his game off to a company if he didn't think they could do the kind of job that he wanted them to do. I wouldn't be surprised if he has very similar ideas of what the game would be like to my own, just because I feel like it fits so perfect. If I'm crazy, if you think I'm crazy with this adaptation, please let me know. But I, this sounds so fun to me. I was so excited to film this because I, this just seems awesome. I think that Brandon Sanderson, I have enough faith in him that he would sign it off only to a company if he thought they were going to do a killer job. I think he knows what he's looking for. So yeah, if this ever happens, I think it has the potential to be dope. And then question 10, describe your ideal version of this adaptation. So I think at the beginning, we're going to be spending time with Vin. We're going to realize Vin's position. I think the tutorial level is going to be like the opening of that book. And we're going to realize that she has a little bit of power. That's going to be our intro into the game. We'll be experiencing the world as she kind of walks around it. And as she's very limited in her interactions and her control over her life, just like it is in the book. But I think that once we introduce Kelsier into the mix, I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to basically follow the sort of setup of the book where Vin spends a lot of the first part of this book doing like 
tutorial missions where she's learning how to use her powers. I think basically we're going to split up the beginning sections of this book where Vin is learning her powers and those will be the tutorials. Those are where you learn how the controls work and the HUD works and you understand the way that Vin feels to play as. And then I think the actual missions, once we get through the tutorials and we can bounce back and forth between these kind of like the book does, is you'll learn a new power as Vin, you'll figure out how it's used, and then you'll get to play as Kelsier doing his missions at night where he's doing all of the secret stuff that Kelsier is doing. And a bulk of the action for the majority of the game will be you learning things and meeting characters as Vin and getting all that world building and story stuff as Vin. You have to get some action there. I think it's important that you do. But most of the stuff that you're going to be doing in The Final Empire is going to be Kelsier's action and it's going to be utilizing the stuff that Vin knows. I do as I said, I think I stress it's very important that they feel different. And those differences that are kind of specified in the book, I want to see them exemplified in gameplay. I think that is possible because I think as we move through this series and Vin becomes more of a main character, I want those differences to be highlighted. I want to be able to go back and see how these characters play differently. I think the first game, especially, you should only be playing as these two main characters. Though I think as the series goes, you could potentially switch between other characters. I think very specifically, this this game should have a dedicated mechanic for influencing people because of the Mistborn powers and also because of like the other stuff that Vin is doing that's not going to be tutorial based. You're going to be doing a lot of influencing. If you really wanted to see other characters do this, you could get to maybe play as some other of the more influential characters. But you're going to have to do this as both Vin and Kelsier, so that's a way that you could get more of the action stuff in Vin's perspective where she's doing her stuff. While Kelsier is doing a bunch of the action, she has the stuff that she's mainly focusing on and that interaction of persuading people and trying to gather information, I don't want it to be like an Assassin's Creed, you go sit, you listen. I want it to be something interactive, a lot more like Deus Ex Human Revolution, where there is an interaction where you can read people, you can kind of sense their emotions, and then you kind of can influence them by saying different things with different emphasis. You know what I'm talking about if you read the book? There are games that sort of do this already. I think we need to adapt that idea into this game. So the primary interactions with the world are going to be the ways that you use your powers in the open world and the way that you are able to utilize them in these character conversations. And one of the things that I think most things struggle with when they're doing an adaptation where you have to take something that is like a book where there may not be action paced throughout. I think you could easily do this with Mistborn. There's enough variety in what's going on between the main characters that you can get your fighting in and it's a video game. You want to run around, you want to jump, you want to fly through the air, you want to fight. We got that. We also are able to fit the story in and it fits naturally within the pace of the book without it feeling weird or like you don't have to get the uncharted effect where it's like Nathan Drake goes and he kills a billion people and then he gets shot once in a cut scene. Like you can have your fighting on this side and it doesn't feel like it interrupts the pacing of the book because it's actually part of the story already and it's built in. Mistborn is perfectly made, I think, to be a freaking killer video game. What do you guys think of this adaptation? Do you think that it would work? Does this sound like a game you would want to play? Do you have any improvements? Do you have anything that I said that is blatantly wrong? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video game and you want to play it, leave me a thumbs up, please. If you want to see more videos from me geeking out about fantasy stuff, please subscribe to the channel. You can hit the bell and you'll get notified when I post new videos. I have a Discord where we can talk about this or any other subject down below. Anybody can jump in that link. There's also links down below for merch and the Patreon if you want to support me financially. Thank you so much for Ryan over at Seeking Stories for this tag. I'm going to put the link for his channel and this version of that tag down below. Ever since Ryan made this video, I couldn't stop thinking about this specific adaptation of the specific game in this specific form. I want to play a Mistborn video game. People, let's get this video to Brandon Sanderson and let's get this video to Insomniac. I want to see him shake hands. Thank you for watching this video. I can't wait to see you guys again. Go out into the world and be friendly to other people. Thank you. I love you. Bye. Sleep. No, I never get enough. Always looking out tired. Sleep. No, I never get enough. If I don't show up, I might get fired. Sleep. No, I never get enough. Always looking out tired, sleep. No, I never get enough. If I don't show up, I might get fired.